At the heart of teamwork lies trust. Team members have to learn to trust one another if they're gonna be a real team. Now that sounds obvious, I know, but a lot of people think of trust differently than I do. They think of it as predictive trust. What that means is two people that have known each other for a long period of time or a group of people that have worked together for a long period of time, they've come to trust each other because they can predict one another's behavior. I know Fred and if he says this, this is probably what he's gonna do. I can trust what he's gonna do. That's not what I'm talking about when I talk about trust on a team. When I talk about trust, I'm thinking of something that I call vulnerability-based trust. That's when human beings on a team can and will genuinely say things to one another like, I don't know the answer, I need help, I made a mistake. You're much smarter than I am at that. Can you teach me how to be like you? Or even, I'm sorry, what I did yesterday was wrong. When people can be that emotionally buck naked with one another, it changes the dynamic of a team completely. It helps people trust one another inherently. Now, the only way we can achieve that vulnerability-based trust on a team is if the leader goes first. People have to know that the leader is going to take that leap of faith and be vulnerable, and that will give them the permission to do so also. Vulnerability-based trust is at the heart of teamwork.